value of placements is well known and meaningful encounters in the workplace helps to create an early work ethic. It worked for me, it's worked for my own children and I hope to help other young people in my position as Member of Parliament. I think one of the misconceptions about Cumbria is that there aren't as many opportunities for young people as there actually are. We have an incredible range of career opportunities in Cumbria, but it's only really when young people get to experience through meaningful encounters that breadth of opportunity and the broad range of diverse career choices that they can actually imagine what they might do in the future. Events like this make you realise that there's more companies out there than Sellafield, BAE and Gen2 and places like that. You don't realise the smaller companies, which are actually massive in reality, you don't know they exist. And just finding out that there is more companies out there to look up and research and find jobs for. And it was an eye-opening opportunity to see all those jobs on that screen, see all the companies thinking, well, what do they do? I didn't know they, you know, they were existed. I think Dream Placement is pretty unique, really. And it's, um, it brings organisations from across Cumbria together because we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to look for our future workforce for the best talent across Cumbria. Engaging in this kind of activity with these kind of students, encouraging them, giving them the opportunity to see what we offer as a company. Um, and it gives us an opportunity to really um, pick the cream of the crop if we want to. When these, when these students are finished up, they often come back to us looking for apprenticeships graduate placements, all that sort of thing, and it's always been a fantastic opportunity for us just to get them come back and work with us. It's when I was younger, there was nothing like this around, so I think that this is, is perfect for, for Cumbria, um, to give companies the opportunity to see what young talent there is around, uh, try and keep them in the county rather than going elsewhere. The talent manager did actually say to them yesterday that when it comes to looking at CVs that come in, doing things like dream placement and having that on your CV is what a really big plus. It's been really educational in the way that we've learned about all the different leadership styles that are in one university and how all of them are similar. All the different leadership styles are under like one place, but they're all different at the same time. What did you gain from speaking to the leader of the Ambleside side today? Just that communication is really important and you need leadership in a lot of things to make things work and run smoothly, but also teamwork's a big aspect as well. Just realising that I actually really enjoy engineering and I enjoy working around solutions and it's kind of solidified what I do want to do um, because I know what it's going to be like after I've studied. What have you been doing so far this week? Lots of problem solving and working things out and thinking you've got something right until another problem comes in and you've got to change the whole thing. So just designing things really. You've been trying out some of the ROVs and remote vehicles yeah. today, what mm -hmm. are they like? They're really interesting, I think I still find this the most interesting though, I don't know why, I know it's the most traditional, but ROVs are interesting and so are drones. Yeah. Would you like the digger? But I like the digger, yeah. I've enjoyed it all really, but the thing I've most enjoyed is just the task that we've been doing throughout the week, is, uh, involves a lot of design stuff which um, I found like really enjoyable. I've also enjoyed coming into places like this and like having a go with a lot of the equipment that they use. And do you see yourself working in this sort of field in the future? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the main reason I applied for Dream Placement really is to sort of uh, come into places like this and get a taste of what it's actually like here and see if I'd, in, I'd really enjoy it, which uh, I have done. On the selection day on the interviews, I did think, I don't know why I'm here, like I'm not going to get a placement, but um, I was surprised when I got one. So that was probably the most surprising thing. And do you feel you've learned some important stuff from taking part? Yeah, definitely. Not even just, even if I didn't get a placement, you're learning, like, you go on for the interviews and not even just the interviews, the activities that we did before it, 
Blurn and when Bernie said about that blurn is a different size to yourself, it does give you the encouragement and the confidence to go into the interviews and think maybe I can do this. It's been amazing to see all the central services that they've got in the company, so the HR, the training and leadership, the payroll, the invoices, the accounts, they're all parts of the company that I didn't know. Each day I've been doing something different, there's been no two days the same. I've been with different people every day, so I've got to ask them how they got to where they are now, what their path has been, what they'd like for the future, and a lot of people have given me an insight into what they've done and the different ways and paths that can lead you to get where you want and that it's not just you don't just have to go to uni you don't just have to get an apprenticeship there's loads of different ways that you can do it and what would be your advice to anyone thinking about dream placement definitely go for it think about your application try and put across your best foot forward and um, if you're lucky enough to go to the interviews try and wow the companies and show them why you're interested in their company and what you could potentially bring to their company.